James underscore 64 asks on TikTok, Hey Shia, love the videos. I saw your video on how to remove a CPU cooling block. Was wondering if you can make a video showing how to install it. Well, James, of course, lucky for you, I had already filmed it. Before I get started, I just wanted to say, if this video helps you, then please subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. It costs you nothing and really helps a small channel like mine grow. Okay, let's get started. So you should have a backplate in the pack. So go to the back of your computer, grab the backplate. By the way, you can adjust the backplate size by using these knobs. Get it sized up to these holes and mount the backplate. Now go to the front of your computer, grab the mounting screws, which look like so, then screw it to the backplate holding it in place. I recommend you do this by hand and do it diagonally. You don't need to use too much force for this. If you're mounting the cooler at the top of your case, most cases have a plate there which you can easily remove. Once you've removed this plate, mount the AIO cooler to it using the screws included. Don't worry about the fans just yet. Now with the AIO cooler mounted to the plate, let's screw the plate back onto the PC. Make sure to place the actual cooling block somewhere safe and do not put any pressure on the piping. Okay, so I am installing the fans with the radiator mounted since I am replacing a faulty AIO cooler here and I'm not replacing the fans. You probably should install the fans with the radiator outside the case just for ease of use. With the fans mounted now, time for the fun part, mounting the CPU cooling block. Make sure you rotate the CPU cooler so it's upright. You don't want any branding to be upside down. Remove the plastic cover. Most AIO coolers come with thermal paste already applied for you. You may want to replace this with a better brand, but I'm going to keep it default for now. Install the specific mount included if it's Intel or AMD and place the cooler down gently, making sure the screws you inserted before enter the CPU mount. You don't need to use any force, just hold it in place. Grab the CPU cooling block from screws and tighten them like so. Do it by hand first and do it diagonally. You don't need to use any force here or you risk damaging your motherboard. Okay, so you're nearly done. Just need to plug in all the cables. If you're like me, you'll want to cable manage things nicely so your PC looks beautiful. Nobody likes an ugly computer unless you're Dell. So here I am just sliding the cables to the back of the PC. This CPU block also comes with a mini USB dongle so that it works with Corsair's IQ software just so you can control its beautiful lights and pump speed. So just connect the cable to the CPU cooler and route the cable to the back of the PC. Yay, we're at the end and it's time to plug everything in. So since I'm not using the fans that came with the pump, but instead using the Corsair LL120 RGB lights, which come with two cables, one for the fan speed and one for RGB control, I'm going to plug the fan speed cable to the USB blocks adapter and plug the RGB cable into the Corsair Commander Pro. Make sure you also plug in the CPU fan speed controller into your motherboard. And finally, plug in the USB cable. Clean up the wires and that's it, job's done. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. It costs you nothing and helps me out a lot. I post daily tech unboxing and review videos. Thank you.